What Lovers Do, Maroon 5. Uh, it's featuring, I guess, Sha, or however you say that. Stan Radio Style. Hope everybody out there is having themselves a fantastic day. Um, cool little show. I hope you guys enjoy it, frankly. I, I think this is cool, and I think it's important, so ah, that's why I'm doing it. Look at change differently, right? And that just seems so almost blasé. But let me let me intro it with something that's very cool, and then we'll see if I can keep your attention all the way through this. One thing that happens frequently that we teach, right, in the law of attraction is that you try not to do the how, right? You don't worry about the connecting all the dots. You imagine at the, the where you want to come, you know, end up at, right? You imagine from the end, like living in the end and all that, acting as if and all these things, right? You do all that. And you do all this imaginal work, you do it, and you do it so you create this reality. And then you're supposed to let all the dots fill in on their own. And I, hello, I highly recommend that. Highly, highly, highly recommend that. One of the problems is, is we do all this awesome imaginal work, and we make these things happen, and we basically kick in a number of dots that need to occur. Dots uh, from you to them, but not just that, dots from them to you as well, right? There's things that they have to experience and go through. Um, there's things you have to experience and go to, and then they're through. And then we meet in the middle, like we meet, and then all of a sudden our lives collide, and all now everything's real. It's kind of why there's that whole time frame thing that is impossible to guesstimate, right? So you're taking steps towards them, they're taking steps towards you, eventually you slam into each other, and your lives change forever. And life is groovy. So again, we do all this wonderful imaginal work, and we're putting these pieces into motion, but oftentimes, a lot of us look at what's happening, right? Remember, we always talk about, too, how paying attention to right now, this moment, and thinking that's what's going on in the big picture is a bad idea, right? Because right now, this very second is not tomorrow, it's not a week from now, and it's not a month from now. And wherever you end up aligning with your manifestation, your person of interest or whatever, wherever that happens chronologically from where you are right now, it's going to get more and more and more real and closer and things are going to show or whatever as you progress through it. It's just kind of how it works out. So, you know, six months from the occasion happening, if you looked at what was going on right then, you probably would not have any belief whatsoever that in six months you would be together. But yet... When these things put themselves in motion, when things begin to happen, when situations occur in our lives and others' lives, the specific person, maybe maybe you're stalking them on Facebook or Instagram or something, right? So you're spending all this time like looking at them, trying to figure out what's going on. Bad idea. But you may be doing it anyways. And they start maybe dating someone, for example. And you've done all this imaginal work and you're making them come to you but yet, when that process begins, because just yesterday you felt wonderful about it, right? Right? We we're awesome. And then this happened. Just yesterday, everything was great. And then this happened. Why is this not part of the process? Why wouldn't you assume it's not part of the process? Of course, it's part of the process. If you're going to stock them or micro, micro watch everything that happens, believe it or not, there's going to be things that will occur that you're not going to be happy with, that are not going to be your highest choice, even of yourself, because of course there's your side of this too. So this whole process, it's a process and you really got to let it unfold. And that's another reason why we talk about letting go, because again, it gets you out of your own way. So here's the two choices when it comes to, you've put the thing in motion. Yesterday, you were awesome. Today, oh, this happened. All right, well, here's the thing. Here's the deal. Here's the deal I need you to make with yourself and, and with me, right? Just, you know, if we're going to try to help each other, at least let me know what I'm playing with and I'll do my best to help you from that angle, right? But you're either going to manage all the little dots on both sides when you manifest it, right? So you're going to manifest all the little teeny tiny pieces. So you're going to constantly be imagining all these little micro moments to try to put this thing together. Good luck, by the way. And I doubt it'll work, but if you're going to do it, at least let me know that, no, 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 I'm going to micromanage every single thing that happens to me up until the point I finally meet my specific person. Every single occurrence in their lives and mine, I am going to control. I'm going to manifest it. I'm going to make it so 
that's how it's going to play out because I like it that way. Or if you're like me or a lot of other people and certainly what I recommend, and you're going to kind of let the dots fill themselves and let universe take care of that. Highly recommend it. It is the, you ever seen like when you do like a choice in software or something and they always got in parentheses recommended like, okay, I'll do it that way. That sounds like a good idea. That's, that's the recommended way to do it. That's the way to do it. Let the dots fill in. So looking at change differently, hence the title. I hope I've got you somewhat intrigued. You ever had something happen that you didn't like? That you didn't like the, the idea that you were doing this? That, that you might maybe felt you had to, maybe wanted to, but yeah, and then felt weird after? Whatever. Like any one of these scenarios where you've done something and you maybe regretted, maybe weren't happy, maybe didn't want to, like I said. And then you get to the end of it, right? And then you always have that hindsight, 2020, right? That's the beauty of it, right? But you go through this experience that you don't want. And then you look back on it and you're like, oh, I learned this. Or I learned this, right? Like if it's a date, for example, and you've got a specific person you'd like to be with, maybe there was something about them that you really, really liked. And you're going to start including that in on your manifestation for your specific person. And really learning it that way, it's probably super important that he, the specific person, demonstrates it also, not just this guy you went on a date with. Maybe you learn stuff that you so do not like in a relationship. Maybe by going on this date, maybe they catch a glimpse of Facebook or find out that you were someplace or a friend sees you and they somehow gets back to your specific person and all of a sudden they're like, oh, she's dating someone else. And bam, everything changes in their world. But you never would have dated someone else because you love him. I love him so much. But the fact that you were might have been the thing that pushes him over the edge and drives him insane so he comes back to you. I don't know how your story plays out, but I guarantee you there's some drama and there's some suspense and there's some action and there's, it's a story. Everybody's stories have these components. That's why when we go to movies, we like them because for the most part, it kind of follows this sort of, well, it's a prescribed storyline for sure, but it kind of has a little bit of realism to it. Otherwise, we wouldn't get into the illusion and think we're part of this story. Have you ever been laid off? This happened to me once. I got laid off from a job literally within an extremely short period of time and freaking out every step of the way, mind you. Very short period of time. Was able to land a better job, higher pay, doing stuff that actually really, when I look back on it, probably played one of the largest roles to me being where I am currently. And I'm significantly further along in my career and income compared to that job. And that was honestly the first time in my life where I finally like turned the corner and I was able to start pulling back on the number of hours I was working my second job because I, you know, long story short, I had to buy my brother out of my condo. I was not in a place financially to do it. So I bought him out and I was literally working 70 hours a week to make ends meet. And that was literally the point where I was able to start pulling back on the second job. And I only kind of worked it on weekends, right? And that's really the coffee shop thing has always been that second job. And I've just been doing it so long. I love it. That's the problem. So anyway, that's more information about me than you needed. But the layoff pushed me into a direction I was not going to go. I was fine where I was at. I was doing good stuff. I don't know. It wasn't the most exciting work. But it got me a raise from where I was prior. And then within a year, I got laid off and I saw it coming. I totally saw it coming. In fact, the HR person even commented. She's like, I've heard you mention that you knew this was coming. She's like, I didn't even know until a couple days ago. I'm like, dude, the writing was on the wall, please. Anyway, so have you ever had like some point, like I said, the date where you finally just say, screw this. I give up. I'm going to try something I'd never tried before. It doesn't like you're not together. You're not cheating. You're maybe going to learn something. And vice versa, if they have some weird steps in their process they need to do, and maybe they're eh, and not making you thrilled, that's part of the process. You created the process by imagining from the end, by imagining everything to such beauty and perfection that you got the ball rolling. And that manifestation, because it was real on the inside, truly real on the inside, is definitely real on the outside and it's a three-dimensional time issue now that's it that's truly it that's the only issue between my manifestation and me is time how much time and space needs to pass before this manifestation occurs 
Otherwise, I know it's coming. I know it's real. I know it's in process. I know it is. So when you know all these things are happening in process perfectly, why would we question the steps? Why would we question the little mini steps? Why would we freak out if something happens that's weird or out of place, but yet we're oddly attracted to it, or it frustrates us immensely, but you don't understand if he's dating someone that actually might need to occur. He might have needed to go through a relationship, fail or learn some cool lesson before he would be ready to be back with you. You guys broke up for a reason. So don't think for one second long well, in some cases, right? For the breakups that are badish. The breakup happened for a reason, right? Let's 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 enhance this. Let's make some changes. And let's have them make some changes too. Wouldn't that be groovy? And then now we'll have this like even altered extra level, like higher dimensional aspect of this relationship that I never imagined. Or if your last relationship kind of sucked and you're trying to manifest a new person, then let's learn a few things and kick it up a notch. Let's let our understanding of the concept of love, the concept of fidelity, the concept of truth, the concept of conversation, humor, intelligence, all these things that matter, maybe monetary level, what if they have kids or not, whether they'd be a good father, you know, all of these things come into play. So again, sometimes the process may seem weird when we're micromanaging it or stalking the process, right? For lack of a better way to put it, but really that's what it is. We're stalking the process. When you stalk someone on Facebook, you're constantly looking at their photos and watching what they're doing and paying attention. Oh, he's doing this. He's doing... No, you're catching snippet snapshots. Nothing. Same thing when we're like doing that to our manifestation. We're just jacking it up, making it so much harder for ourselves. We don't need to. It's part of the process. It's why letting go, again, it helps. It helps us get out of our way. If you're worried about all these little pieces of minutia, these little nuances, these little issues that keep popping up that you keep paying attention to and they're driving you insane. Stop. Stop looking. It's like always the joke when it's like the doctor, I told the doctor it hurts when I do this. You know what he said? Stop doing that. There you go. Fix the problem. So same thing. We can do this. A lot of these things are good. They're part of the process. Change is a guarantee. I promise you change is occurring and that's the only way you're going to get from a to b or a to z or whatever letter we're going to a to z to say it all cool like just talked to someone from canada today and they said z and i'm like i love the way other countries say that letter like us in the united states we're like it's z and they're like it's z z's cooler anyway off topic we're going out with a very awesome song and this is honestly an ode uh accidentally but still nonetheless to like one of my best friends like it's just awesome she passed away a couple years ago love her dearly and she's the one that got me into the black eyed peas all right friggy as she used to always talk about so i'm going out with a cool song and i think it's very uh apropos for this whole concept change us getting together uniting but the song anyway is called one tribe stan radio style I'm gonna try to separate the sum, but he dumb. He didn't know we had a word to overcome. Rejuvenate by the beating of the drum. Come together by the cycle of the hum. Freedom when all become one. Forever. One tribe, y'all. One tribe, y'all. One tribe, y'all. We all one people. Let's catch amnesia. Forget about 